Hello again, this is Captain John with another one of my video tips of the week. In today's video tip, we're going to take a look at four simple approach diagrams. When you approach a dock, you want to keep one end or the other end of the boat facing the dominant element, either wind or current, throughout the approach. Preferably, you want to keep your bow into the wind or current, but there will be cases where you need to keep your stern into the wind or current. In our first illustration, you notice we keep our bow into the wind or current, and we're looking at the approach boat, which is the dashed boat in each of these diagrams. You want to keep your bow into the wind or current at a very narrow angle, and then come alongside the pier. The first line you put out in a situation like this should be in opposition to the wind or current. And that's why we put out a forward bow spring line. In the second illustration, we had the wind or current from a stern. So we want to keep our stern at the narrowest angle possible to the dominant element. Once we come alongside, we want the first line to be in opposition to the wind or current. So we put out an after quarter spring line. In the third illustration, we had the wind or current from a stern blowing onto the dock. Here again, we keep our stern at a slight angle to the wind or current direction and use reverse gear to control the speed of approach. In the fourth and last illustration, we have the wind or current blowing off the pier and we keep our bow as close as possible to the dominant element. We can control the speed of approach by shifting in and out of forward ahead propulsion. Now you know one of the key elements for docking approaches is to keep the narrowest part of the boat, either bow or stern, into the wind or current as long as practicable. Use these easy docking tips for safer sailing on the waters of the world. This is Captain John, and this has been another one of my video tips of the week. Find more sailing tips and techniques on www.skippertips.com.